don't be surprised. I'm like I just started doing runs. Um, I might do some no reset runs or something like that. Fascinating how I still save time. <laughs> like that's how insane it is to get um, one in six um, first try. It's like you can mess up so much things. Doesn't matter one six rules, man. <laughs> I didn't I basically one one was bad. A uh, one kick, a uh, one four was bad one kick, and one six was perfect.
could have been worse. I didn't get the, my almighty strat there, but I didn't die. I, I got the hard part. <laughs> or like, both are not really that hard, those parts, but I got the part that I usually mess up in the run. Uh, you know what? So I found out the hard, uh, like the best strat for real life doing attempts, right? So um, I always get cold hands, so I just raid with uh, gloves. Uh, raid, uh, speed run with gloves. That's how you do it in 2017. But the, the good thing about those gloves, they don't even bother me at all because they're just like fingerless gloves. Like, you see that shit? Like, they were actually really good for it. I mean, they're not like. One second. It's not like they're uh, just like helping, uh, it's not like they're just fix every problem with my hands, like in form of like, they don't go get become immediately warm, but it's definitely a help. really good. I'm gonna... I don't expect to get good RNG on this stage, considering how the RNG went um, in the first stage, but we'll see. Yeah, right assumption. Hopefully I get good RNG on this stage though. Could be. I'm unsure. Nah, I go safe. Like it's always a little bit Eh, whenever you mess up movement, because depending, like, if you're not sure, like, sometimes things can change, you have to like, exactly know if I can go for it or not, and in that case, I wasn't entirely sure. Like, you know what I mean, it's like, I messed up slight movement, and that strat that I could have gone for it, maybe with good RNG, I have never pulled off while doing that mistake. And I didn't know if that mistake would influence that strat, so instead of going for the strat, I just didn't go for it. I think it was a smart decision.
I'm more ahead than it looks there because I split a little bit late, but not much though. I would say two seconds or so, two and a half maybe. Um, if you're wondering, I might not reply to anything that is in chat. Simply because I... One second. It's not because I have to focus on anything, it's just that I... That the frequency in which people type in chat is so low that I don't, I'm not always looking at it. Um, because there's second entertainment on my second stream, uh, a second, um, like, monitor, like, I watch a stream for myself too, while I do these runs. Six six six. Now that we have gotten the total number of six 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 on uh, stage four four, that means we will definitely gonna get the run. Now nothing can go wrong anymore. got the fast right there. You can only go for that strat if you get a certain RNG and I got the perfect RNG for it to be as easy as possible. But you may have to make that assessment really quickly in 4-5, whether you got the RNG or not. So let's see if we get good RNG here. We can still get good RNG. can still get it. There are two different types of good RNGs here. We can still get it. And we can't get it anymore. So, either bad or good average RNG. Most likely average RNG. Average RNG. I need to, in the cutscene I need to um, close my window, not window, but like that thing that makes it darker, like I don't know how it's called in English. Like, because the sun is starting to come out and blind me. That sounds like it's very mo it's mo morning here, but it's actually not morning, it's like the middle of the day. So, if you have 68 lives here, 
in a speedrun, it most likely means that you haven't died yet. Once. I'm glad that I just didn't die there, because the first um, first visual cue I completely messed it up. But because I've done that done that stage so often, I could still adjust somehow. <laughs> like I didn't do it with a visual cue at all there. I just like did it. Like I met, met, I just noticed. Oh fuck! What am I doing? And I just somehow adjusted it. <laughs> uh, but the second time was gay. Whoop. Like, I don't know why that strat, for example, is so difficult nowadays for me without doing um, um, the select buffer strat there. Like, ever since, like, I don't know, two months ago, I just cannot really pull it off consistently. Um, I cannot really pull it off consistently anymore. Which is kind of sad, because like it never used to give me trouble. Check chat real quick. So if anybody has to write something, I can see. Nope. It happens to me often that I just don't look at chat for such a long time that the person that has written disappears. <laughs> so that's why I something to check. But, but I just have to have second entertainment, unless like if there were more people talking I wouldn't need it. But if you're just doing runs, like in this run this is this one is exciting, right? Because it's a it's a good run, right? But whenever I just reset over and over again, like honestly, it just makes me feel super lonely whenever there's like no second entertainment and there's nobody in chat or anything like that. It just really feels bad. <laughs> So I usually like streaming, but when there's nothing going on, right? Oh, wait, once again, I need to concentrate. Ah. Uh. That death was not that costly. Like this is one of the Nuga strats that I do, so it's no surprise that I died there, and it's a very hard one as well. It's one of those strats where people would be like, why are you doing this in a run? Even though it saves a decent amount of time, it's like, it's really difficult, and I mean, World 5 is not. <laughs> it's like really. Are you insane, man? Okay, nice. Uh, what happened there is I got bad RNG, but I could make it up with. Um, um, with get doing that wall kick. I could have easily died there. So even though I died, I'm kind of happy, because. Even though I messed up t uh, stage 5 too, I still managed to do it afterwards in a very decent fashion, so regardless of it uh, that I've died there, because it's just logical if you think about it, right? 
it, I, it's a new strat, I'm not doing it for so long. It's a very hard one as well. To expect not to mess up there is kind of ridiculous. Like, or to never mess, mess up there is kind of ridiculous. So, please get RNG here, that would be very nice. That was one of the RNGs that results in death, unless you adjusted it in time, which I, which I couldn't. Not because, like, I would, wouldn't blame it on execution at all, and that's terrible RNG most likely. Okay, uh, it's not as bad. Um, it could have been way worse. Uh, the cha wh the reason why, like, oftentimes, certain RNG looks a certain way, right? And that um, that RNG just screamed, uh, um, it's bad, most likely. But it turned out to be still okay. And not as bad as it could have been, or how it would be in the, on the average. So we're probably going to be behind after this world, which is honestly not a big deal, right? We sh I go for a PB, like step-by-step -step improvement, I take any optimizations, and um, like the way that I kind of approach everything which has to do with improving, right, is... One second... The way that I kind of approach things when it comes to improving um, is I don't expect to be perfect and I'm not aiming to be perfect because I'm not a robot, I'm not an AI or something like that. Um, trying that will make you miserable, it will make you feel bad and it's completely pointless to do that shit. So I'm already like far away from that mindset which I had, ha which I did have in the past or something like that. The way I wanted to just like be perfect or something like that. But what I figured, it's actually really obvious, is that being human is not about being perfect. It's about doing something more or less depending whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Like... You want to do less mistakes, you want to do less... F Damn. Uh, I think you understand what I'm trying to get at, right? It's like... As long as I improve, I'm gonna be happy, it's all about just keeping going. And if you just accept your like vision of a perfect like of a really good run or something like that as a PB you're not gonna be happy and you will never achieve that uh, goal to begin with or the chance of that is unlikely because you will just be frustrated and eventually stop 
Or if you don't stop, the road to that point will be extremely frustrating, most likely. The way that I look at it, as long as like I've got a result, I'm gonna feel happy about. Because when it comes to improving, you will have a lot of things that will frustrate you, that will make you upset. So occasionally, it's good to have like this this moment where you're like, "Oh, nice! I finally improved the." I finally got a better result or something like that. And if you're just like denying that, we will be eventually become very unhappy doing so. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Seven seconds lost on a trivial stage. Oh, I mean, this stage is easy to mess up, honestly. I know what I did wrong. I, won't, I will try to not do it as often anymore. But there is so much time safe in a later run, in a later. I'm currently figuring out where I lost so much time. I feel like there was much more time safe yesterday than there is today. I know that I can save like in 7 and 8 and 9 a lot of time. But I feel like I could have already saved them. I mean I died a lot in World 5. Like World 5 really wasn't that great. I need to also practice this stage again, even though I didn't mess it up, it was very close and in my previous runs yesterday I messed it up, uh, I think. So I need to rework it. So I mean my uh, city wasn't that great. Mm. My forest was good, my ship was nah, could have been way better honestly. I got kind of fucked by RNG in a lot of ways. Yeah, I definitely got. I mean, in terms of XC, yeah, uh, it was more of RNG in World 3. I think I'm losing some time due to bad 1-6-1, one, uh, one, but nonetheless, it was a very good uh, World uh, 6 besides that one hiccup in uh, the first stage, which makes me feel very good about myself, because all the hard shit in this world I kinda got. So I consider like, you have to look at it at this point, I've lost 4.2 seconds. But I've made a mistake that cost me like 7 to 8 seconds. So I've made up a lot of time 
just for a mistake that usually doesn't happen. So if this mistake wouldn't have happened, I would have saved three seconds. So this is one of the worlds where I can save a lot of time, but uh, it w like it's like really difficult world. Like everything that comes up now, is like you either get it or you f fucking get God, man. But I mean that's literally every world. So the next stage is kind of, um, it's, it's, um, it can go wrong, let me just say it like that, but in order for me to ever do that strat in a run consistently, I have to just do it ever on every run that I do. Ah, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> Damn. I messed it up. I don't know why I did that. Like, not the strat, I mean. But, like, that mistake I never do. Like, this happened two times in this run already. And that's a mistake that I never do, like, grabbing a ladder if I want a backflip. Like, that's something that I usually never do anymore. So, that's very odd to me. But I have to. I don't know how much time that lost, but like I said, like I will do the runs, like I will commit to every stat that I said that I could commit to. Like that sounded a little bit wrong. If I um, notice a strat being dumb or currently not possible for me to execute a run because I'm not consistent enough, I will make changes, right? But yeah, in order to do not new strats in a run, you need to commit some to some level, you know. You shouldn't just like value the run over that strat, or even if the run is good, because like you want you, my goal is to optimize the game as much as much as I possibly do, um, and I won't do that if I just value a run more than optimizing the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like. Even if I PB, I will PB again and again and again, most likely. You know what I'm saying? So, I the run shouldn't be second priority in a way. To a certain extent, right? Obviously, um, the run is still very important. But I can't just like... Uh, like pussy out on a strat because I really want to get this this certain time or some shit like that. Like that's not the person that I am. Only if there are actually legitimate arguments against the strat that I'm doing. For example, if there's like if it just has half a second, but for that half a second I risk a death or something. That is then not worth it. Like with speedrunning, you have to make these uh, smart decisions. You know. It's like, just because it saves time doesn't mean you need to do it. If it's all, it's all like risk and reward kind of like thing. Like some strat are just also just like dumb.
Like, I feel like this is the same run that I did yesterday. Like, I do one mistake, or like two mistakes, and I'm 30 seconds behind. And then I need to somehow save the rest of that time to the PB. But I actually love these runs. Because they give me this feeling of, uh, I have a chance to BB, but it's also not like, oh, this run is super amazing, I, uh, I should not fuck up, right? It's like, this is good practice, man. That's what it feels, this run feels like it's good practice, it doesn't feel like I, like, I have to save the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when you have really good runs, like, if you have not made a single mistake or some shit like that, um, so, it's like, sometimes it just feels like you have to save the world, kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, everything is dependent on this run, and that's a that bad mindset to have, even if the run is good. Because even if the run is good, right, the only thing that can happen is that you mess up, and then you try again, right? You're not gonna stop just because you had a bad run. In most cases. Like, obviously, if you want to take a break or something of a game, regardless of what reason, do it. Like, but in for me personally, if I were to do like a bad run or something like that, that wouldn't necessarily like, that wouldn't discourage me and trying again. Like, I will get the run that I want to get because primarily I do this for fun. I will be saving some time, even though with the death, like this just shows you the potential uh, of, of of my strats and of my skill level. I'm fairly confident that we can PB this. Wow, that was dumb. That was super dumb. But it happens, I talk too soon. I can't check chat at the moment because something fucked up my um, uh, my um, my browser. So I'm gonna go for a stretch just to make up some time. It's not necessary. But it makes sense considering the previous time losses that I had to go for the hardest jet that I even considered to do every time if I get that good RNG that I just got. So it was a good decision in my head. Whoa, that was next level play. Actually, that was next level <laughs> free today. Good RNG here, please. Looks like good RNG. 
But it's too soon to tell. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, it's not bad RNG, it's not perfect RNG, it's good RNG. Like we did, I like said, good RNG. Like this is good RNG. It's not perfect, and it's definitely not bad. That's four seconds under perfect. So see, we even got a total best there. So 8-5 shouldn't make a problem, even though there's a huge risk if I mess it up, then... Nah, it's not going to be go... After that mess up, then... That's not a good mess up to have, that is basically a death. The next two stages could be sketchy. Especially like the second stage. But I don't think of losing whenever I can think of winning, right? Why would I? I don't lose. Like... I never lose. I always win. See, I never lose. Like, losing... Actually, like, I'm just... I'm not serious. Of course I lose. And losing is very important to improving. But... We just pretend here, I never lose. So this stage, I never fucked this up. It didn't happen yesterday. Oh, definitely not. It was just a dream, bad dream that I had. <laughs> like, see? Like, this is all RNG manipulation. This is definitely not a mistake. Definitely not. Like, this is all... This is all... Just like... RNG manipulation for good execution. Don't question that or anything. It's RNG manipulation for good execution. It's not that bad of a mistake though. Because I got it in second try. And then I got that really quickly. I basically lost 10 seconds there on this stage. And then I just basically made up for the 10 seconds that I've lost on the previous stage. So... Like... We should be Gucci as long as I don't have any big deaths. Any deaths basically. If I don't fuck anything up big time, we should be Gucci. So that backflip, like, there's some things with every game that, as a viewer, looks very easy, but it's actually harder than it actually is. Uh, it's actually harder than it looks. For example, SMW, for example, like, going into doors or something. It sounds very easy, it looks very easy, but it isn't as easy as it is, as if you want to do it really optimized. So with this game, that's kind of like backflips... Uh, near ladders. That looks very easy, but it's definitely a test that you need to learn. And it's definitely not as easy as it looks, trust me. Or walking off ledges. My brain is actually really funny. Um, sometimes I would say like that the stage is hard, and I am like. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that. Now I think it's hard. And then I think that it's hard because I think now that's it's hard. Like, <laughs> it's super retarded. Like, this stage, I can save a big chunk of time if I don't mess it up. Like that. See what I'm saying? 
there's n nothing to worry about with good execution. Like that stage was, that stage is really difficult because there's like, like a lot of the strats that I do nowadays are strats with very, like they're not that hard, but they just have like this insane amount of risk to it. For example, if I were to mess up that strat, I would have to die. If I mess up 8-5, I would have to die. 8-6, uh, if you don't get the trampoline jump, you need to get the trampoline back. Like, all of these strats that I do nowadays, they're not necessarily impossible to execute, even though they are pretty difficult. It all comes down to the fact that they are extremely diff uh, that they have a extremely like huge risks to it. Um, I'm thinking, like, what kind of RNG manipulation do I do in World 9? Like, what? I think I know what I do. I, I messed around it yesterday before sleep um, to find a better pattern for RNG manip. And I think the one that I remember is the one that worked pretty consistently. But we'll see when I get there. We see when I get there. So this thread is pretty pretty easy. Like nothing to worry about here. I'm gonna do it careful here because I already did it didn't get it first try. So I'm like well it's whatever. That was kind of like a big time loss, but it could have been worse. I could have died, I could have not gotten it in five tries. That was too soon. It's all good though. Like I'm still... We'll see what... we will see. That's actually really funny. Like, it's actually good that uh, that mistake happened. Uh, simply because now I know how to prevent it. Like, I know exactly what went wrong the first time I died here. I, I initiated it too soon. So I n need to know... We might be ahead, we might not be. It looks like we are going to not be ahead by a very small amount of time. See, we are fine. Like, my goal is to improve to PB, and we can definitely do that here in this run. Just muted the stream that I just watched the whole time because it was making me nervous for some reason. So now we're go gonna do the RNG minip. I hope it's correct. So the first four stages, just pray for it to not be 8 RNG. That's good, but it's, it comes all down to this. Okay, that's fine. Would have been bad if the tombstone, not the stone, would have gone downhill again. 
downstairs. I don't know how you'd say it, like down again. You know what I mean. So the good RNG here too. Like what it really comes down to is the next stage. Like I would be happy if I just get average RNG, but with this RNG manipulation, I got good, really good RNG yesterday with it. But like these RNG minips are not 100% consistent. That's all that I can say. With RNG minips, it's always the case that um, mess ups, like they were very precise usually, and you can do a lot of mess ups with them. Looks like average RNG so far. I will be able to tell here in a second. Yes, it's definitely average RNG. If average or bad, now it has to go up in a second. It's bad. Hopefully not too bad. It's really bad. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't know how much that just lost me there, but um, it was pretty bad, just saying. It might, it might have killed the run, honestly. <laughs> that was terrible. That was perfectly executed. So we see. We see, we see, we see. Nonetheless, even if this isn't a PB, I am still. Is my mic even unmuted? Yes, it is. I was like, wait a sec, before I started the stream, my mic was muted. Have I unmuted it? That would have been very awkward. But, like, nonetheless, even if this isn't a PB, um. I, this is a lot of practice and it's very it's very good you know so I wanna get a good side like I wanna get do the next stage really good like I might practice this afterwards because I have messed it up yesterday a little bit Bad RNG, okay. Good execution, bad RNG. Okay, that could have been worse. So, this looks honestly like we are going to be ahead. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Seems about to be even. And if that means that if you're even, the chance of us PBing is very slim. <laughs> Well, you need to be at least 10 seconds ahead for this to be a PB. I would say. 10 seconds we need to be ahead at least. Because the chances are that we're going to lose 5 seconds on the boss fight. I just went Super Saiyan there, honestly. See, we are 23 seconds ahead, and now we are just not going to die, and then we have a sub 1 hour 3, uh, 4 minutes, which is an okay improvement, like, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's also not just like a second improvement, like I did before, or like a 0.1 second improvement, it's just like 23 seconds, if I, like, it would most likely be like around 18 seconds improvement, because I know that with average RNG on this boss fight, I probably will lose 5 seconds. But we'll see, I might even die. Who knows? I've done that before, on a better run than this. This boss fight is not free loot. It's like, can be very tough at times. And bad RNG is definitely a case to that. Oh, 
That was it. good. I I split when the the boss is done. Like I won't split. That was clo close. <laughs> like this is a common mistake people do. They split whenever they finish a PB run. There we go. A PB. Nice. Whew, nice. So now I can look at chat. Oh, nice, PB. Nice. Ugh. Nice, nice. Whew, that feels good, man. It's good to be a gangster. Mm. The reason why I split it there was because I could. Like I knew that this would be a kill. But what I was trying to elaborate on whenever like... Sometimes people are so obsessed with splitting that instead of... Uh, like your en ending time is not when you split, right? You can just retime it. So and oftentimes that whenever people split, they mess up something and then everything goes to shit. So that's why when I'm in a really good run, I mostly play, most likely won't split unless I know for sure that I can. So that's why I also think that you should have um, like not as many splits, right? Because every split has the risk of something goes wrong, unless you split at a place where there is nothing that can go wrong. But yeah, that was a nice PB. Sub 1 hour 4 minutes, it's so improvable, like, could be that I beat this next run or something like that, but, um, like, what I can say about this run is, um, yeah, I got a lot of time loss just due to RNG, um, like, in last world, I lost 20 seconds to RNG, like, this could have been 20 seconds better, just by having to get if I had gotten better RNG, as well as I gotten better RNG on the last boss fight. Um, World 8, I lost 10 seconds to like a clip. Um, I got decent RNG in 8 form. Um, like World 7, what happened in World 7? I died like in World 7. Like there were also like a couple of execution errors. But like the good thing about it, all the deaths that I had were on stages where I have some sort of really difficult strat. So it was good that it happened, right? Because now I won't do it as much. You know what I'm saying? So I let the credits run out and then I go back to the grind. Um, because like I want to improve it further, right? Like that's just an 80 seconds time save. It's a privy which I'm very happy about, but... We have to be real, it's just 18 seconds. The end.